I'm doing what Storm is talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. So we just got to... We have to go back to the front and get some more money for this. We do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. That was President Biden responding to the question, quote, what do the states in the storm zone from Helene need after what you saw today? He said, storm zone? I didn't know which storm you're talking about. He also is claiming victims of Hurricane Helene are happy that they're getting everything they need. He's not knowing what storm we're talking about, but hundreds say no, we're still on our own out there. If criticism about the $1 billion of FEMA funds spent on illegal aliens, too. Joining us now from House Energy, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Okay, so Congresswoman, thanks for joining us in the studio. It's great to yeah. see you again. It's wonderful to have you on. What do you make of all of this, of what's going on? This is an absolute disgrace. As someone whose district took a direct hit in Hurricane Helene, I myself have seen boots on the ground, Cedar Key, Horseshoe, Seenhatchee, Inland. Uh, I mean, total devastation, catastrophic damage. And talking with my colleagues through Georgia, Tennessee, the Carolinas, we are talking about some of the worst catastrophic damage that we have ever seen, certainly in like my Katrina? lifetime. Certainly, yes. I mean, worse than that. This is a Category 4. It has a wider windstorm. The path is absolutely destructive. And for Alejandro Mayorkas to now poor mouth the American people after just receiving $20-plus plus billion just a few days ago, that's a slap in the face. But to add insult to injury for the last four years, FEMA has been taking money out of an emergency housing fund and giving it to illegals for plane tickets, bus tickets, and hotel rooms. This has been going on for four years. And now people are really starting to understand why that was so dangerous, because we have Americans in need, and you can't find anyone on the ground who is getting the assistance that they need. So we have a real problem. There is mismanagement at the FEMA level, at the DHS level. We have a lot of work to do. I mean, people are pro likely dying right now. I mean, but FEMA is saying no FEMA money is being diverted from the, you know, disaster relief money. They're saying the spending on illegal aliens comes from a separate bucket. Okay, that's besides the point. The Biden-Harris White House is basically saying we can do whatever we want with FEMA money. Right. And turning FEMA into a legal alien services agency. Yeah. I mean, that's that's fundamentally false. I mean, I myself have questioned both Administrator Criswell and Alejandro Mayorkas. And just three months ago, Alejandro Mayorkas said that they were well positioned and prepared for hurricane season. Now they're saying they're broke. Now, let us go back a few years when we asked for receipts for the spending of the 130 plus million four years ago and then subsequent years leading up to this point. You know what they gave us? Lists of nonprofits and NGOs. Those NGOs are block granted these funds and then they give them out. They're the ones like Catholic Charities and others that purchase the plane tickets and the bus tickets and the hotel rooms. So for FEMA, illegal aliens. For illegals. And yeah. so they are, that's why you have FEMA saying, oh, we're hands off. No, no, no. We're actually doing the work. Ah. It's because they're using the Catholic Charities and others as the means to do the dirty work for them. I mean, so Biden says uh, uh, Helene victims are happy. They're getting what they need. And FEMA is that's providing. Absurd. $750 checks, right? I mean, we know there's a cap to that. That's a FEMA cap. They're saying tens of thousands of dollars for home repair, hotel costs. It's covering 100% of the local costs for food, water, and shelter. Um, but it's been more than a week, and a lot of the hurricane victims are saying we are abandoned. We haven't seen anybody. Yeah, you know, I actually just about less than an hour ago got off the phone with the deputy secretary of FAA. They had a total flight restriction in place over Asheville and Chimney Rock in North Carolina. I had constituents. Why? Wait, why would there be a flight restriction? I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, they were saying it was because of the president's visit, but this was a flight restriction that was in place after the flyover from the president. I had constituents that were donating their own, their, their time, their aircraft, their own supplies, that they were going in, doing search and rescue and dropping off critical supplies that were told that they would lose their pilot's license. So we have already stepped in and we have demanded a list for any adverse action that has been referred to the FAA for any pilots that have been told that they're going to lose their pilot's license if they go in and deliver aid or rescue people. This is absurd. What is happening, though, is the FAA is saying, listen, it's the state of North Carolina that's making 
making this request. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that the governor is at odds with the lieutenant governor. I think there should be someone looking into what the state's request has been to the FAA up to this point. You know what? The priority is the American people. Yes. Rescue them now. And Congressman, yes. you've been working very hard on this issue. We understand. We're going to stay on the story. Thanks for joining us in studio, Congresswoman Kamek. It's great to see you. Thank you for covering it.